Hello everyone, this is Beyond here. Today I'll be covering the basic feature you need to know to start off with Girls Online. First, let's talk about TDOS. Let's get into index here. So TDOS has different types of rarity from 2 to 5 star and different types of guns. You have handguns, submachine guns, rifle, assault rifle, machine guns, and later on, shotgun. So as your story progress, you probably need to use the resource, which is on top of your screen, top right on your uh, top right of your screen. You have manpower, ammunition, rations, and parts. Next up, we have formation. You can click formation. You'll see different echelon slots that you can build your T dolls in by clicking the slots, and then. Uh, after you finish building your team, uh, you can click on formation preset to organize your formation buff. Different types of guns have different formation buffs you can combine to. And on the top right, you have combat effectiveness, which I like to call it power. And as your TDAW level progress, you can click on show equipment and attach your equipment or attachment on your TDAWs on level 20, 50, and 80. Next up, we have factory. So, um, TDAW production is where you mainly get your 5 star TDAWs here. You can produce by using TDAW contract and quick production. So, uh, this is a formula where you use your resource to build your TDAWs. So, I'll link all the different uh, gun types of recipe that you can get. Note that the more you use your resource doesn't mean you can get higher rates on getting your 5 star guns so watch out <laughs> and dummy link as your TDAW progress in level you can expand your your TDAWs by using cores so a 2 star expansion you need 1 core a 3 star expansion you need 3 core a 4 star expansion you need 9 cores and for each 5 star expansion you need 15 cores but if you have a duplicate same um, 5 star TDALs from TDAW production you can save up to 10 cores for TDAW enhancement as your TDAW levels progress you can use to enhance to get better sets by using uh, enhancement capsule to increase your status or you can use other lower rar rarities TDALs to en further enhance your, t your main or for example the more you feed you get more uh, you get uh, sets increase by feeding it make sure you don't feed uh, your main TDALs well, just watch out so you want to put uh, on rarity and then the higher rarity to the, uh, the lowest rarity to highest rarity and we have retirement this is where you get your core and extra resources for those uh, TDOS that you don't want or disenchant or disem disem disassemble <laughs> so you can disassemble uh, a 3 star for 1 core, I think a uh, 4 star for 3 core, and 5 star for 5 cores. Next we have equipment production. Uh, this is basically the same as T dot production, it's just that you get equipment from using equipment contract and quick production. It also have recipe for your equipment. For different equipments, five star being the rarest, and then two star, uh, two star being the lowest. 
Next up, repair system. So basically when you're in combat or after you finish um, a chapter story and then your T-Dolls got injured, you can click here and get your get your T-Dolls repaired. Uh, it costs resource and it takes time. And you can use express repair to to uh, faster to instantly repair your um, T dolls. Next up, we have combat system. So this is the main story quest that you want to progress, and your grinding EXP, where of course you can progress your uh, your chapters. The higher, the harder it gets. And each chapter's bosses. Uh, there is a certain um, certain uh, special e dolls for you to get. They are pretty useful if you get them. You can level them up, or later on for certain stages you probably need them. And as you progress through your main chapter, the higher chapter gets, you get higher logistic support for getting more resource and many uh, exclusive uh, rewards from doing the resource. But you have to at least have uh, extra echelon slots to do this efficiently and get more resource from it. Next, uh, we have combat simulation. Enhancement exercise is for uh, enhancement capsule, which you can use this for enhancement but I don't really recommend doing this early game because unless you really need uh, materials to upgrade your T-Dolls and we have data mode data mode is used to gain uh, data for your T-Doll skill upgrade which I'll get to I'll get to that later on and EXP mode is where you can get insane amount of exp from per run so each time you do it consumes uh energy this repairs over time the energy you can also buy extra energy from uh the gem sword and after you get your commander uh levels to level 12 you can unlock research so you can go to research and upgrade whatever uh, main t dolls that you want to upgrade your levels on so it takes uh, data which you can get from the combat simulations uh, to clear it you, it takes uh, times and hours to training the higher the level the, the, uh, the longer training it gets And finally, we have dorm. So, dorm is where you use uh, most of your cosmetic stuff in here. You can click on the warehouse, you put furniture in uh, to increase your comfort zone by putting more uh, furniture in. So, what comfort zone does is increase your battery. Um, what does battery does? is you can get your battery from the, the time frame here right 11 to 2 5 to 8 p.m i think uh, you can also visit your friends uh dorm to collect um battery the maximum i think you can get is 10 battery battery per friends and also you can like your friends here Uh, what does battery does is you can go to a uh, data room and upgrade your facilities So mainly you want to upgrade all eventually But right now just upgrade uh, all to level 1 I think So what does facility do is some facility does for mostly for your combat report So what does combat report does is it's like an EXP potions, a passive way to gain EXP for your T-Dolls. So you can upgrade uh, upgrade all of these facilities using a battery. 
So you can gain surplus EXP by grinding through uh, uh, combat simulations or just doing chapters in general. This is a separate EXP that you can gain um, out of your TDOS EXP. So you want to try to level up, um, level up this facility so you can get your EXP going. A lot of people do in China version and Korean version and Taiwan versions. They usually have a bunch of uh, max out TDOS, TDOS, right? So they also want to get EXP from grinding. So they can use this to stack up um, combat reports where new guns and new 5 star uh, TDOS came out. They can use all those uh, combat reports to instantly level. And finally, I want to address some interesting tips that you can get from doing uh, like small stuff. For example, on the top left uh, command level, you can click on it and click share. You can share Facebook, Twitter, you get extra 30 gems. I think this, uh, this, if, uh, this refresh every single week, so this is a good way to get free gems if you are free to play players. I recommend doing this for sure. And try to do as much daily quests uh, if you can because it gives a bunch of rewards like quick repair contract and stuff like that. You don't, you don't really necessarily have to pay to, to, to get a bunch of stuff. You, get, you can get basically get a bunch of uh, free productions and tokens and stuff like that and free resource just by doing uh, daily quests. Most of these quests are pretty easy. And of course, if you can do the career quest and the main quest, that's that's even better. And just remember to click on events and get all the login rewards you can get from everything. Get yeah, get login rewards, get free free stuff. Remember all those? Don't forget. Uh, a, a one more small tip: you can go to a shop and then. Um, I don't know what's her name called, but this girl, you can click a heart. Every every day, I think it will reset and it will it will show you a heart. You should go click on it because every day you can gain some rewards from her if you increase the affections and just by clicking the heart every single day, you can gain resource each day. For example, yesterday, I think I get 900 on each resource from her. Oh, and I forgot the dorm. You can go to uh, the dorm every single day to click on uh, click on hearts. If they if they have hearts pop up, remember to click on them. This increases their affections. So if you increase TDOS affections, uh, it gives extra stats if you max up their affections. And then of course, if you have gems, you can marry them and oath them. To gain uh, even even higher stats, I think I pretty much cover everything. So um, I hope this intro, this basic intro, helps uh, most of your most of the new players. Uh, and thank you for watching.